Hi guys! So in one of my earlier earl, earlier video videos, fuck! I can never say that right. Okay. So in one of my earl, early videos, okay, forget that, and you just know what I mean. I told you that I'm going to t talk a little about my piercing, my new piercing. This is the old one that I had for like many years now. I don't, not, I think maybe about, I don't know, not two years, not that long. Some, uh, one year at least. Okay, whatever. So this one is old, and then I got snake bite before, but this one got infected, and then I had to take it out and make it like uh, heal again. And now for three weeks ago, I think it was maybe four, I switched it out. No, I didn't do that. I mm, did a new one. Well, my friend did a new one. Okay, I'm gonna explain it all to you all, y'all. Uh, so every time you do uh, take a piercing, a new piercing, I always recommend you to do it on a piercing studio because they're professionals and they know exactly what they're doing and I can't assure you that maybe your friends know what they're doing but whatever, I did it at a friend's house because she did that one and the old that one and the new that one and that's great so first off I'm gonna show you really close yeah whatever I know they're a little bit like they're not really straight but I don't care I'm a pirate yo you know okay so the first thing you need is needles and uh, I have used uh, one one point six millimeter needles and I buy my needles at crazyfactory.com which I'm going to link you down below to their main site and there you can buy all different sort you can buy tools to like uh, whatever and you can buy needles you can buy uh, sterilized piercings and normal piercings so and that's really cheap so I recommend you all to do it on that side. Uh, so as I said, these are 1.6 millimeter uh, needles and I think I bought the wrong needles because the needles usually go come one by one in uh, their own like little plastic container and not like this. I don't think these are sterilized so if you get your needles like this, these are three needles so if you get them like this, you should uh, uh, boil some water and put them in there and like, so you know they're not infected by in any kind. So, and the other thing is when you put the needle into your freaking face, you should not have makeup on. Okay, you can have makeup on your eyes and your cheeks and everywhere, but not there. You should just clean that with... Uh, with makeup remover and maybe some st sterilizing stuff afterwards and then you have to make sure that the person uses either gloves or are making sure that their hands are really clean and so that's important and you also have to like put I don't know what they're called those uh, cleaning water you use inside your mouth when you look like, I don't I don't know the name of that but you should use that and then you should use like tools to like how hold them and stuff but they're kind of expensive I don't know so we were like nah she had done it so many times so she she's like she knows how to do it and then you just like take a touche and make a mark where you want the piercing you like stick a dot and I recommend you to do that yourself so the one that taking is taking the piercing isn't getting like oh no I did wrong because they isn't they're not straight so you should do that yourself so no one feel regrets or 
feel blamed or whatever the word for that is. I'm not clicking the button right. So the next thing you need is sterilized piercings and this is in sur surgical steel. It's like the same type of uh, uh, metal or steel that they use in implants in bodies. Like if you break your ha hand, you can get like a steel bone kind of or screws in your in your hands or in your body in general. And that is that is so you like when you go through metal detectors, it's not going to like beep out on it because it is this type of steel. I think that is the case, I don't know. But here is how they look. And you have to make sure that this piercing is way too long for your face uh, because uh, your lip is going to swell. Not very much, not as much as a tongue would do, but it will swell up and you will get a little sore, but if you're if you clean it well and do all the things you have to do, then it's not really, really that um, uh, swelling. But I recommend you to do it way too long. And this could also be 1.6 millimeters if you want your piercings to be 1.6 millimeters, which is not that big. If you see here, it's not big. But now I pressed it out, so yeah, I'm going to switch these piercings afterwards, after I'm done with this video, so whatever. And yeah, these you can also get at crazyfactory.com. When you have taken the piercings, you cannot switch it for uh, actually four weeks, and it's not healed properly in ten weeks. But when you... When you are going to pick out a cleaning product, you should pick out something that, uh, yeah, whatever. This thing is really good. It's called Chlorhexidine. Uh, here you can see how it's spelled because I'm not that good in pronouncing thing in English. And this is kind of cheap, it's only 50 crowners, Norwegian crowners, in a drugstore or for, for, for farm, pharmacy? pharmacy? yeah and all you do is like you take the, those little pins with like uh, those dots, white dots on each side the thing you can clean your hair with well whatever, you take only you take uh, that in onto the ring here yeah you can see that but it's a ring there and you just do like that and then you turn the whole thing upside down and just squeeze it a little and then you get the liquid stuff in here on that and then you just clean around the wound like that but not with your finger because your finger can be infected with ugly ugly bacteria. and the next thing you do is that, use that washing thing ish thing that you put in your mouth and gargle go like la 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 yeah so bad and you are going to do this at least two times a day like when you wake up and when you go to bed at bed bed every every day for at least four weeks you can do it more but it's not necessary. I do sometimes I feel like ah maybe I should clean it but so another thing is I don't recommend you to do to use steel uh, piercings like the no, wait a minute. Like these this is steel and I don't uh, you shouldn't use that because that is really tearing on your teeth and the flesh or whatever around the teeth. Uh, because it's so it's so hard, uh, so I'll recommend you to buy these, which are in some plastic type. But I do also recommend to buy way like if you have one piercing, you should maybe buy two or three of those because it's really easy to like chew them up. At least if you haven't got any piercings in your mouth before, because then it's like really. You feel like you have to play with it 
with your tongue a lot and then it gets like this well yeah you can see that's not good and then it gets really hard edges and not good at all so now as you can see I'll switch my piercings these are the ones I wanted to use was all for today and I hope you enjoyed the movie and subscribe to my channel like me on Facebook comment down below and tell me about your piercings or link me to your piercing videos I'm interested in watching other videos like that and yeah I guess that was all for today so bye guys look at my also oil look at my awesome piercing box it's filled with piercings and it has Hello Kitty stickers on it. Look, there it is. My piercings. Love them, love them, love them.